Currently, I believe UA is working on a new R Markdown book called the R Markdown Cookbook. It has a lot of more advanced type of functionality, customization, and other stuff that is available to users um, working on our Markdown documents. One really cool thing that I've sort of used a little bit um, is some of the things in Bookdown, which in Bookdown there are some you know note type blocks, like an anonymous code block that doesn't really use a language engine, and you can add a, an icon, use some custom CSS, it's done in the actual book down books. I think it's in the book down book, but I totally ripped off the icons, grabbed the custom styles, and I used it in some of my own technical documentation for work. And it is really cool how you can add these custom blocked chunks and different things just by using some CSS and in these anonymous code blocks with a specific class assigned to it. But one thing I didn't think of, and apparently is possible and cool, is... Um, styled code chunks that do use a language engine just by assigning an additional um, argument to the fenced code area of a class, a CSS class. Now, I think you might be able to do this just with like maybe ID selectors that I talked about before, but we don't want ID selectors for this. We want a class, a defined class that could be used in multiple instances. And so the way we do this and the way, at least the way I saw it, this done is you have your own CSS fenced code chunk here. Now you could do an externally referenced CSS file with the YAML option for CSS and just pass in the file path for that CSS file that does all your styling. Um, book down, I think just the base template book down package, um, when you just say new book down document, uh, I think that just comes with an external re externally referenced CSS file by default. But in this case, we just have a fenced code area for CSS and it doesn't matter where you put it. I mean, honestly, it's all gonna to compile to a single document anyways, so it'll affect everything, so it doesn't really matter which, which option you do. If you have a lot of CSS, a lot of custom styling, sometimes an external sheet might be useful, um, especially if you're just going to use a template file. But anyways, we have this code chunk here uh, that holds all this stuff using dot notation with the pipe and then some correlation, a linear model, um, et cetera, and we have the output right here. Cool, nice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna style these with our custom style. So if I come in here and I put that in there and I now knit my document, based on our CSS style that we set, we can now custom style our code chunks with a specific color. If we wanna have our output just be plain, then we could actually have a custom style theme. I mean, this is like warning, warning, but really, you can make this more aesthetically pleasing in color or whatever you'd, you'd want, really, and then have everything else be a different color. You can use this to match your custom styling and theme for whatever you're going for, be it a, a corporate color theme or just something for your own personal taste. But with this, you could use a custom CSS chunk and a class for your fenced code area, and it will do that. Now, this, this has three separate red areas because um, all of this output in this single block is being uh, you know, operated on first. So it first runs this formula, it gives you the output of that formula and the output of that operation. So that's why it's broken up. Now, if you could, you could save all of these like, calculations and everything after the code chunk is finished calculating, um, I don't remember the option off the top of my head, but you could do that. Or you could just have um, a single code chunk for each individual thing if you wanted to. But really, this is really cool because you could easily change the styling of your code chunks and make them specific colors. You could even do this by language. If you use multiple languages in an analysis, you could make your R code chunks a bluish color and your, um, I don't know, CSS code chunk, if you have it included in here for whatever reason, uh, just for printing. Um, I have echo off, but you could have echo on so you could see the style and you could set that one to purple and you could bash to green, I don't know, whatever you chose to do, but you could use your um, this custom styling to say if you have different types of uh, code running in uh, your R Markdown analysis, easily visually separate those out for any readers. You know, that's a potential use case. There you go. So hopefully somebody finds a use for this, and if you do, uh, please let me know about it. I'd like to see what you do with it. So enjoy.